Hey smokers, Drago one here, and today we're going to be taking another look at Reactor OS. Now, in my previous video, I looked at Reactor OS version 040, and now they're on 043, which actually was released the 16th of November, so about four days ago. According to the guys, they have been making steady progress and have fixed 342 issues that were resolved since the release of 042. So really, in comparison, my version was very, very, very out of date compared to what uh, they have going on here. They've uh, shown that there's better support now. Older games like Age of Empires, which was one of the ones I was trying in the last video, um, will actually work better, if not from not working to working. They have a new WinSock library. Um, which underpins all network operations in user mode applications. Its improvement should be a significant boon to ReactOS's compatibility with such programs as the good old games client and newer versions of the Python runtime. So basically what they're saying is that it has more compatibility for games, which was probably the number one thing that I was uh, trying to do last video. But this, is, this paragraph here is specifically talking about WinSock and networking um, improvements to ReactOS's implementation of NTVDM has seen several more DOS era games now running successfully. Strategy fans in particular should enjoy a trip down memory lane with the likes of Age of Empires and Command & Conquer. Behind the scenes team has made a major effort to flesh out the test suite ranging from memory related functionality to the Windows Shell API. And then a more detailed list of changes is in the change log on the wiki which is a lot of freaking things. As you can see, they are showing that a lot of different pieces of software works with it. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing it on the same computer it successfully installed on in the last video, but instead of installing it on a mechanical hard drive, we're of course going to install it on an SSD this time. We're not sure if it's going to like that or not, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. And actually, the computer in question is the computer I'm reading this article off of. And interestingly, the React OS install ISO was small enough that I can actually burn it onto a mini CD, that's right, and uh, install it off of that. But before we can do that, we of course need to install the Patriot Torch SSD, which you probably have seen a couple times on the channel that I've showed while I'm flipping through SSDs to use. Yes, we finally come to this one this week. Now for the time being, I'm actually using a computer on a table for once. This is a pretty rare occasion, and this actual computer has now sort of resides permanently here. This is the computer, if you guys remember, that has the that now has the uh, GT420 graphics card in there. It is the Linux machine, and has a Linux SSD in here somewhere. There it is. This is the A Data one that we first tried to start using in the Wii OS video, but then I realized that that one didn't actually install, so then it was reused again in the Linux something or other on a netbook. I don't really remember. And then I moved this back over to this, and then I always used it there. So we're not going to be using that today. Um, we're going to be using this today. So this hasn't been used yet. This is just a very generic branded SSD really all there was to the unpackaging. If you want a better look at it, here it is. Pretty run of the mill. Only 60 gigs this time. We don't need much for reactor with. Plug that in. Plug that in. And that's the extent of the installation. Now, again, reactor OS is supposed to be more NT compatible than it is DOS compatible. So we're going to try and get more NT-based stuff working, possibly even Call of Duty, if we can. Now, we're also going to see if we can install the driver for this, the GT420. I don't know how possible that even is. If it is, and it can actually use it for gaming graphics, and we can actually play a game with some more uh, beefy graphics, that would be pretty cool. Now... I was ripping on React OS a hell of a lot in the last video, and in the description I was saying something like how I was actually being harder on it than I should have, and that uh, it is a work in progress. They've since hired on some more people to work on the project, and they're making some good progress getting the operating system going, 
um, and developed, and I am really excited about it. It is a good thing they're doing. I didn't intend for to make it sound like their operating system was crap. That's just alpha software, and generally alpha software is crap because it's not finished. So, uh, I guess the only real criticism is the duration of time this project has spent in alpha, which is considerable. You can, of course, attribute that to lack of funding or whatever the issues may be that are plaguing them. We're going to boot off the CD here. Or we have the setup ISO. They call it on their website the boot ISO. Uh, it is not a live CD. If it does go into live CD mode, I don't really care. We just want to install it. Will it install on a SATA drive? No idea. The folks at React OS recommend that you don't even use this on physical hardware. You should just make a virtual machine and test it that way. And certainly do not try to use it as your daily driver operating system. I think that using React OS as your daily driver operating system would be akin to like the ice bucket challenge if you had to swim in ice for like a week. So now we have a very Windows 2000-esque installer screen here. And already we have an issue, and that is that my keyboard doesn't work. Luckily though, this computer has PS2 inputs. What the hell, really? It's been a common phrase in uh, comments that uh, in a Draga video, um, everything always goes wrong or things always go wrong. Uh, I gotta say, this has gotta be one of the quickest that things have actually gone wrong. Um, I didn't, I hardly got it. At least the, I guess the computer powered on, right? The CD drive works and it booted up the React, to the React OS setup. You actually see in the top it says, the 043 setup, um, that's all nice and good, but the keyboard doesn't work. Or it's frozen, I don't know. Let's try it again. Okay, let's try this again. PS2 keyboard, it does work. So, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, Reactos 7 is an early development phase. It does not yet support all the functions of a fully usable setup application. Um, setup supports fat file systems only. Luckily, I, don't, I do not have any other drives installed on the computer except for the Patriot Torch SSD, so we will not have any formatting shenanigans. File system checks are not implemented yet. Okay. So this is the partition selection screen. Let's see if I can show you this a little closer. So this is, again, very reminiscent of the Windows 2000 or really any Windows NT install partition selector. Press Enter to install ReactOS onto selected partition. As you can see, it's about 60 gigs format with a quick format. Setup will now format. Press enter to continue. That was fast. Um, and we're going to put it into React OS. And now it's going to copy the setup files and then hopefully it will just boot off of the SSD. Or at least we can only hope. There's some cool little meters at the bottom that I've described in previous videos. These are a little bit different. It does not show space free or current file or anything like that, but uh, I guess it's sort of showing how well it's doing. A lot of the text on screen is very, very faint just because it's so small, so you might not be able to see all of it. Um, I can actually see compression artifacting on my camera's LCD because it doesn't like the gradient in this corner. You might actually be able to see that on the video, probably a little bit exacerbated by the fact that I'm going to compress it again when I render the video and when I upload it to YouTube, so you may actually see some artifacting here. I can already see it on the camera itself. It does have a... it, it does... it is compressed video when it is recorded, so... Oh, okay. So it says install bootloader on hard disk, install bootloader on hard disk, install bootloader on floppy disk, skip installation of bootloader. I'm going to install it just in case it fails considerably. The basic components of a React OS are installed successfully, remove any floppies and or CD drives, and then replace them with SSDs, I guess. As I said, replace, the dri remove the drives, not the media within them.
Okay, I turned around and looked, and uh, it's already starting up. It was pretty dang fast. Are we gonna get running that easily? Holy shit! And again, we're using the GT foot. Well, fuck! I've run out of swear words, guys. Or at least the ones I'm willing to use. But don't worry, let's just restart it. Couldn't even let me finish saying 420. It's really annoying. Okay, so here's a lot of different options. It just comes up so fast. In a blink of an eye, it, and in a blink of an eye, it's over again. Maybe the crashing was just part of the initial installation process. It's in trying to install devices. That might be part of the problem. Mouse pointer kind of shifts. HDoddbus.sys. So something that has to do with video is fucking it up. But the problem is, I don't know what to really do about that because it's like on the motherboard. But it's a different error than before. So I say that we just restart it again and see if it can get past it. Uh, maybe if we restart it enough times it'll get through every single audio device and then we'll actually get to the desktop. There is some support for log files and such, but I'll have to do that later. Okay, interesting. We got a blue screen again, but this time the stop error code is a little bit different. Now it's CA instead of whatever, 1E I believe it was. So what, do you, what, what are we going to do? Let's keep doing the exact same thing and expect different results because this far we've had different results every single time. I just hope we can prove Voss wrong. Okay, so we're back to the second boots blue screen. Again, HD audio bus. HD odd bus. Seems to be the problem. Can we actually get this booted up? I have no idea. Now I actually still have the old installation of the last Reactor OS video. The 040 installation. We can try to boot this off of this computer and if we're starting to get blue screens it'll show that of course there's some sort of problem, obviously, but some sort of hardware difference must have been made because Reactor OS was bootable on this computer until we changed a few things. There's probably a little bit more RAM now, there's a GT420 and a Firewire card that may all need to get removed and put back to the way it was before. So let's try and launch up the old version of React OS to see what happens. Even on this super clean table, things are already getting messy. So this is the old React OS mechanical hard drive that originally booted off of this computer. It already has a bunch of games installed on it. IDE, in nature. I'm going to unplug the Patriot Torch. This now has bootable files on it, so that's actually got the same React OS on it. And let's try it again. And you can definitely tell it started up now. Okay, so we're at React OS again. But now you can actually hear that we're starting it up. Gonna be a little bit longer. Not too much longer. It's still a pretty small operating system with a really small footprint. This does noticeably go slower, but it's still pretty dang fast. Okay. So we're still crashing. And I was just about to say okay it works, but we're actually still crashing with the stop. XOCA error. I kind of really looked that up right now, but something has changed. This would have started up otherwise. So let's start by um, removing some stuff. So if we take a look at when it crashed, it crashed when it got to the desktop. This didn't have a chance to get to the desktop, but it did start to load, so load some. It did start to load some UI elements. It just was too busy trying to look for hardware to install. It didn't even bother loading up the desktop yet. But it got to roughly the same point where the UI was loaded. So 
we can keep troubleshooting with this as it's pretty much the same. If we can get this old version working, and I'm sure the new version will work, we're going to start off by removing the firewire card. Now, I, I think we all know what's really going on, and that is that the GT420 is actually our primary problem. We're probably going to have to use the integrated graphics, but let's go one step at a time. This is an actually, I think this is a Mac card. So, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if that was the problem. Well, so that's out. Let's try it again. Couldn't tell how much RAM we had because it went by too goddamn far. It almost looks like you got hung up here. Maybe it doesn't like that sudden hardware change. Yep, it does look like it locked up there. I think in the last video we tried, like, safe mode a bunch of times. Didn't really work. Let's try it again. So it must have liked that Firewire card, because now it doesn't start up anymore. Maybe that's just because it crashed and it corrupted the installation. So are you telling me that I have to reinstall React OS every time I make a system configuration change? That would be ass. Alright, so since that doesn't boot up anymore, we're going to have to uh, plug back in the Patriot Torch, which will only take, like a second. Alright, we're booting off the SSD now. See, it's quite a bit faster. Got past the problem part. Installing devices, and we should get a blue screen right about now. So it's, my gut's telling me it's the GT420. As sad as that is, I didn't want to use that. I didn't want to see if we can install drivers for that. But alas, it seems that that won't be happening. So let's go ahead and uh, remove that. It's somewhat unfortunate that I need to take the GT420 out because I had the monitor plugged into that. And now I have to use a totally different uh, connection to use VGA instead of DVI. Alright, so we're now plugged into the motherboard. Of course, it's not even showing it. Oh, never mind. Okay. And GT420 is right here. Alright, it seems to have gotten to this screen a little bit faster now. Trying to install devices. Hey, that did. Yeah, React OS. Doesn't like the GT420, guys. Uh, yeah, NVIDIA GT420. Okay, so let's just go ahead and keep going with this. So this is a list of different projects that have helped with the development or are incorporated into the code of this. Wine, of course, pretty obvious there. Box, QMU, are familiar ones to me. Got some open source fonts there. More fonts. And uh, you can customize this. Computer name. Reacto SSD. <laughs> that, that seems to be a good idea there. Uh, we can just let it do the typical settings. And then you can click finish to restart. Super, it's going to be just a super fast boot. Oh my Jesus Christ, that was fast! Um, let's see if it can install the Ethernet driver. This will, eh, it could not. So we can't get internet on this right now. But holy fucking hell, let's, let's try that again. Let's try and do a restart on this with that's with the BIOS sure when I see the BIOS I'm gonna start the timer we're gonna see just how long this takes now it does have a screen where it asks what um, thing I want to choose I'm just gonna jam the enter button as fast as possible there it goes twelve seconds 
from BIOS, not from the point in which React OS starts loading. It's just, BAM! Here is React OS! Holy shit! Also, the USB mouse and keyboard are working now, so I can just use whichever one I want. So, now this is this is pretty dang fast, because we're on an SSD now. Nothing is going to slow us down. Pretty much instantaneous launching of, of stuff. So, yeah, there's, there's that. Games, yeah, alright. Okay, can we actually, like, copy files now? I don't know. But now we don't have any of our stuff installed. So, that sucks. So we'll have to start now installing stuff. We'll be a little bit limited by what we can install just because we don't have a dedicated graphics card anymore. So what we'll be able to do is going to be considerably limited. But I think a good place to start is going to be something I don't think I've installed on the channel yet. And that is Tonic Trouble. It does require Windows NT, I believe. No, it does not. But it can run on it, I think. Actually, no. This this is actually more of a this is more of a uh, Win uh, Win Nine X kind of game. But I haven't tried it on React OS before, and I don't think I've tried it on the channel before. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. What the hell? I'm gonna install Tonic Trouble on an SSD on React OS. I guess this computer now boots faster than my main computer. <laughs> Actually, at some point I want to see if I can change the desktop background of this. Oh, there we go. To the React OS background. Actually, come to think of it, I think Tronic, Tonic Trouble comes with some desktop wallpapers? Or no, I'm just probably thinking of when I went on their website. Got a little bit of delay there because it's waiting for the reading of the drive there. Uh, set up. Oh god! Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, it actually started. It actually started. I didn't see it. Let's try that again. So you click this and it's actually open right now. Oh, for Pete's sake. Ah, oh, there it is. You can see it now. So this is zoomed in all the way with as little flicker as possible. This is the next screen. Oh, now we're a little bit back to normal now. It's kind of still flickering, but we're on the uh, the very old old school Ubisoft installer screen here. Wait, did I try to install this last time? I can't, I really can't remember. Oh, I tried to play Quake 3 Arena. That's what it was. Yeah, it's still flickering pretty bad. You can see the mouse is kind of like cycling through like black and white it is really having a hell of a time drawing the window behind this the flicker has become considerably more extreme at a higher frequency I'm now going to die it says Indio Video Interactive setup is now complete you have to alt tab to re-invoke this dialogue otherwise the flickering takes over Oh shit. Well, that's not what I was hoping for. Oh fuck. Now, it said it was trying to install a video driver, an Indio video driver. I just sort of let it do it because it didn't have a, a no option. I guess I didn't really have to do that. If it did actually fuck my installation, I will have to reinstall React OS. Uh, because, I mean, Tonic Trouble fucked the React OS. I don't. Okay, so we're back. Hasn't crashed yet. I don't know if Tonic Trouble finished installing. Um, where's Ed? Oh, Ubisoft Ed. Okay. TonicTrouble.exe. Yeah, that's that's great. Thanks. Yeah, so it doesn't seem. It doesn't seem that it installed correctly or completely since it blue screened. So, again, I'm not really surprised. It tried to install old Windows 9X video drivers. I, I mean, I can't really blame it for that. So let's try something that's a little bit newer than that. 
it's come to my attention that I do have a severe lack of newer games on disc. The only games I do have are really much newer, possibly even too new for this. The other games are just too damn graphically intensive. Now since that didn't work, and since I already copied a whole lot of games onto the old drive as well, I'm just going to plug this in, ensure I'm booting off of the SSD, and then use this to copy the files over to the SSD um, so that I don't have to do any weird copying, trying to copy more stuff onto this. It takes forever and then potentially doesn't work. So let's, let's try and do that. So let's plug this back in. I don't know what the boot order is. All right, so I got it plugged in here. I don't know which one it's booting off of. Oh, it's booting off of the mechanical drive. Oh, let's see what happens when we boot it off the mechanical drive. It's going to be a lot slower. But it shouldn't crash. Besides, we do need to revisit it to see exactly where the files are and what we were trying to do. Oh wait, that's right, I fucked up the installation. It doesn't actually boot anymore. Damn it. So now we got to make sure we're booting off the right drive. Oh lord. Aha! There we go, boot sequence. First boot device, aha! The Quantum Fireball is above the Patriot Torch. Let's increase... shit. This might actually speed it up a little bit if I disable all these USB things. Uh, keep the CD DVD number one. Keep the secondary boot device, the Patriot Torch, and the third being the Quantum Fireball, if that. Um, and then let's save it with F10 and exit. It might just ignore all the other like card reader slots for booting. Yeah, well, no, it's still going to look at them. Okay. Yeah, a little bit slower now. Got no disk grinding. This is off the SSD and it's going a little bit slower. Or I'm an idiot. Yep, I'm an idiot. It was pretty fast still. So let's go to my computer. We can see now that we have two local disks. This is our primary one. And this is the one, this is the mechanical hard drive. See, we have a copy of Undertale here. I don't know if that ever worked. No, it did, never did. It probably never will. So we got Doom 2. We've got... Uh, Croc 2, we've got, uh, what is this, Frogger, sort of see what I tried, Swirl, I remember I tried to do Sega Swirl, I don't know what I just did there, Hot Wheels Velocity X, I don't think that worked, IO Quake is the only thing that doesn't require crazy ass stuff to be installed, rather than, it can just run right out of its folder, oh, what, come on, this is IO Quake 3, why, why is that necessary? Okay, never mind. I can't even use these. Undertale still doesn't work. Uh, well, I installed Age of Empires, right? That should not be launchable at all. Microsoft Games, Age of Empires. If it is, I'll just crap my pants. Are you serious? Are you serious? Wow. Okay, so we're booting off the SSD, but we're launching the game off of the hard disk from the last installation. So, uh, you need to put the CD in, which is not a too big of a task. Got a disk right here. As you can see, the fonts on the uh, buttons a little unfamiliar for those of you who are um, Age of Empires veterans. Those are just the free fonts incorporated into React OS. So that was a weird color palette going on. And we managed to quit the game without any crazy color stuff going on. Let's try it again. Well, guess what? I put the CD in the drive. What the hell? Okay, we are encountering some problems after quitting Age of Empires. Ah, uh, shit. Some things I can click on, some things I can't. 
Um, yeah, I think I've sort of lost a little bit of stuff here. And I can click on it, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, now it's doing things. I launched the Applications Manager. And it actually has in there Tonic Trouble available for installation. Now, this is assuming you have network, and we do not have any sort of networking, so we're trying to find it through an Applications Manager. You know, it would be great if the internet worked, but uh, I don't want to really risk trying to install drivers for it because we could be fucked. So let's shut this thing down. I don't see any um, other course of action here. Some of our problems could have been caused by the fact that I'm starting up Age of Empires from the old version of React OS. So I'm going to my computer, local disk D, the mechanical drive, Microsoft games, Age of Empires, play the expansion single player. It can't detect the disk. I don't understand. Um, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Yeah, it's great. It won't even let me play multiplayer. So I'd probably have to reinstall it from the disk, which isn't that big of a deal. Um, oh, but it's already screwed up the OS again. I can't click on anything anymore. Uh, let's do another restart. I'm very thankful that I have an SSD to put this on so that these restarts are much, much, much faster. And bam, we're back. Holy balls. And we can open this. So what we can try is we can just try to install Age of Empires manually. I'll oh, find a sound card, yeah, oh well. Tough shit. Let's do the typical just to speed things up a little bit. Well, these guys are building as well as they ever could have. I'm doing the typical install, so it's going to be a little bit faster just because I don't like waiting. It'll have to load the cinematics off the disc. We're not going to be watching any cinematics. But now it knows that the CD it's being installed from is on E rather than D. That's probably the problem with the other installation was, is it probably was looking for a disk and a drive that was not there. Well, it was there, it was just the hard disk now, not the optical drive. So, uh, there we go. Fastest install ever. Sure. Let's take a look. Yes, the CD drive is E. So, click on this. And it launches. Single player does know where the disc is now. Not a big surprise. Okay, so it is playable. I don't really know why the colors are still giving us problems. It's the same hardware. I'm being weird. Okay. We've got the taskbar at the bottom for some reason. And when I t click on the taskbar, it blue screens. <laughs> Win32k.sys. So, I mean, it runs. I mean, I'm just fucking around. Page fault and unpaged area. Can I control it? Just no. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the mechanical drive just because we're not going to use it. We have to pretty much reinstall everything anyway if we're going to do it. Okay, so we're going to retry some of the things we did on React OS and try some new things as well to see if anything's really improved in that department. So I plugged in a flash drive and it doesn't appear that anything is coming up. I don't remember what flash drive I used last time. It doesn't seem to want to detect it. Let's go ahead and restart. Okay, so um, the flash drive I plugged in did not work. It just doesn't show up. So in the previous video, I couldn't even find any flash drives at the time. Now I have abundance of them. However, on screen I showed two different 
drives that I was planning on using. It was this one with the micro SD card and this one which is just a FAT32 drive. I think I ended up using this one. I never actually used this one but I didn't watch far enough into the video or didn't notice or something but I copied all the files onto here. Hopefully it works off of this because they're not on this. Alright, the adapter's plugged in. Did not seem to have any effect. Let's plug in the drive that supposedly worked last time. Well, great. Neither one of them are working. So that means the only way we have to move... Oh, I froze up the system. Just like I did last time. Holy balls. So since these guys aren't very reliable, why don't we just copy everything we need onto this? Alright. So I put the uh, React OS thing in that sled thing from previous videos and properly copied a bunch of useful files over to it. But I was having trouble copying with React OS itself. Uh, now it's actually going to be on a fixed disk drive, so you can't really have any copying blunders. I noticed that that Undertale that was in the root of the hard disk was actually 256 kilobytes in size. Um, it definitely did not cop copy over properly. So now I have Undertale copied directly to the root of this drive. I could have done that with the actual SSD, um, but at this point I, I don't know, whatever. Shit, it booted off of the Quantum Fireball. Damn it. Hey, wait, it successfully booted off of the Quantum Fireball. What happened? I can't click on it. Well, maybe I can. Well, I don't want to boot off of this drive. Uh, restart. What went wrong? I don't know. It appears after I unplugged the Quantum Fireball, it got set back down in the boot order. Who the fuck knows why. Right there. Yes. Okay, probably just because I unplugged it before. Okay, so now we're back to our SSD. And we're going to be loading non-SSD things. Here. Oh, look at that! You can actually see the Undertale logo versus the corrupted one. Let's try and run it. Again, not off of an SSD. Oh, big surprise, nothing happens. Son of a bitch. All I want to do is play this game. And it doesn't work. Or it's going to launch like five times. <laughs> Okay, it requires DirectX 9, apparently. Go figure. So, you may also see some interesting other symbols here. We have some GOG games. That's right. Oh, sweet Jesus. Still recovering from the Undertale. Okay. Uh, so, the the recent blog post by React OS on their website shows that uh, apparently some GOG games are compatible. Who knows? I think it was just for networking stuff. Defcon, that's a that's a tall order right there. Earthworm Jim 3D, probably not too bad. Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds will probably have no problem at all since Age of Empires 1 works. Uh, let's start with Defcon just because, I don't know. Why not? So we're going to put it on C. Seems to work so far. But it kind of seems like it's crashed the entire system again. Yes, it has. Oh, no! It's just really slow. Okay. I, I just find it funny when it's when uh, for, from a computer that starts up so fast that just suddenly freezes. And so I think, oh, the whole thing must have already crashed all the way, or else this wouldn't be happening. And also, I sort of have a preconceived notion that this is going to happen. And there we have our problem installing. But it says it's installed correctly, so let's go ahead and try and launch it. 
Direct sound error, of course, because we don't have any of that. Getting the same, so we'll not run DEFCON. That was at least a pretty quick evaluation there. Let's try Earthworm Jim 3D. I guess the other thing is we are installing these off of a hard disk, so it will be kind of slow installing, but we're going from hard disk to SSD. It's okay, speed-wise. Not as fast as if we had two SSDs or if I was installing it off of the same SSD. I wouldn't call it addictive platformer gameplay, I'd call it infuriating the platformer gameplay, but whatever. Unable to execute file. Launch game. Yes, something else happened. But we don't know what it is. Oh shit, is it trying to launch it multiple times? I don't know now. Alt tab, no effect, clicking the window, no effect, Alt to F4, Control Alt Delete, Task Manager. Control Alt Delete again, shut, cancel, no, no, shut down, restart. So I'm going to go with Airstorm Gym 3D not working. Okay. Let's try Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. At least the GOG game launcher comes up. That's pretty nice, actually. Seems to install it pretty instantaneously here. I actually had this game. I did not have that game. Or that one. Or that one. Nope. Didn't have that one. No, nah. nope. Uh, yes, yes, I did have that one. Oh, it's just going in a loop now. <laughs> but it's nice that they throw in some promotional stuff about uh, the games that they have on their store. This one just, just takes a little bit longer because it's like 500 megs. Just look at his face, he's like, mmm, yeah. Oh, shit! Those appears to have been errors with the GOG launcher thing. Oh! Instantaneous launching of the game! Oh! Yeah. No sound, of course, but. Yeah! Shit. Oh, yeah, another FMV. Skip it! Skip it! Skip it! Skip it, skip it, skip it. Oh no, the content ID. No, not, not Star Wars. No, Disney, leave me alone. No, it's not the real Darth Vader. Where's the rebel base? Oh. That's my boy, right there. And it's going so slow. Finally! Oh my god, it was running at like half speed. What? Ah! 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 Oh, did he? It actually started up, oh my god. Holy shit. Alright, uh... Well, that's an interesting name. Mr. Main Menu Background Texture. We Ah, oh, it's gone. Alright. Let's do a standard game. And what do we got here? Ooh, gotta go Gungans with them worker glurgs. Let's gang up against this guy. Do only RTSs work on this operating system? What is this? Hold on. 
Is, can we turn up, pump up the jam here? We can pump up the jam! I love these little dudes. Well, it works. I mean, we could have like a full-fledged game going on here. Uh, I wish there was sound, but then I just get content ID claimed. Probably gonna get content ID claimed for just so much as thinking about Star Wars nowadays. Oh my god. Well, Age of Empires works, and Age of Empires Derivatives works. So this is, for those of you who don't know, this is using the Age of Empires 2 engine. So it's basically like playing Age of Empires again. Now, I don't have Command & Conquer 1 ready to go, so I can't really test that to make sure that works. I could install Firefox, I guess. But you sort of get the idea. Uh, test. Okay. Save the game, and then let's get out of it. I'm gonna close the whole game out. Okay, so we still got one more thing to do, and that's to try Quake 3 again. I'm gonna try and install it, and then I'm gonna try and copy this. No, I don't want to run that, no thanks. To this folder. No, what the fuck? Okay, uh, program files, have Quake 3, and then paste. Oh my god, it's actually copying! Look at this cool copying dialogue, guys! Look at all that shit that's just going over there! <laughs> so this is what it absolutely would not do on the last version. This is a definite, objective, provable improvement from the last incarnation. Wow. That's annoying that it really did not work on the other one. It actually copies stuff now. Copying it pretty quick, too. I guess it'd kind of be cooler if it sort of went in an arc out, like straight up out of one folder, sort of went in an arch and then went down into the other one. <coughs> okay! So, um, pack0.pk3 file is where it needs to be. In that directory, in that directory, this is the way to launch it. Guess what I already did! I just installed it! Oh yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to put this in here now? Oh yeah, you can click and drag things. What did I do before? I can't remember what I did before. Now one reason why this may not have worked before is that I didn't install something I needed. And that was some extra data files for this. So that means if I want it, I need to <laughs> unplug the drive, shut this down, plug it back in, and then uh, hopefully the new files carry over and we can actually play Quake 3 Arena. Whatever we did, I think, broke it, because now I can't click the start button anymore. Um, it is not, you can't see it, but it's not working. Yeah, so. I'll wait. Uh, shut down. I actually want to shut it down now. Look how fast that was! Holy balls! I'll copy the files on and uh, start it back up. Okay, we're doing this again. Plug it back in. Mobily wait. Okay, we're back again, and now we need to go in here and install the extra IOQuake stuff. I think this is the other one. Team Arena. Ah, okay. And there's this thing, which uh, we're just going to install in there for fun. Alright, so let's finally, finally try this again. Okay, alright, it's working now, but will it launch a map? I don't know. It's going a little slow here, as you can see. Mods. Quake 3, catch the chicken. Oh my god, there's a chicken in the background. What the hell? Alright. We load a map. Oh my god. <laughs> there's eggs and shit.
should be pretty quick. This is off of an SSD. Oh my god, it's working! However, the skybox appears to always overlap everything. You can look up at the skybox. You're not supposed to be able to do this. Jump to reach the armor. Uh, well, this is an improvement. I don't think it worked at all last time. Crush. Oh, didn't get it. Enter the arena. 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 Oh, there she is. What I missed? Bullshit. Can you imagine people with like really, really bad setups trying to go pro? Like, I want to get into the uh, crash. Picked up the chicken. I got the chicken. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, I'm supposed to run away? I guess. But I got the chicken now, guys. <laughs> uh, shit. Go away. So you got regeneration when you have the chicken, so... You just have to run away. The skybox is pretty terrible. Oh, man. Oh, they're not gonna catch the chicken now. I'm getting more score, I think. Uh... I already have a score of two, as you can see I have the, the chicken on the side there. I don't know if I'm getting more score by doing this. I got full health. My regeneration is running out. So my safety field... Does clicking do anything? Oh, I dropped the chicken! No! Picked up the chicken, can't throw chicken yet. Three seconds left. This is the most intense game I've ever played. Quick through arena. She is trying to kill me. I'm doing a lot better on score. I think I need to get a score of, what, 10? Maybe 20 to win this? Got it. I was holding the chicken at the end. Oh my god. <laughs> now I have to go against these assholes. It's click through in a work. Except now the whole fucking world is. It's. <laughs> skybox. Let's try and turn down the graphics. Can I turn them down any further? 320 by 240. Okay. Texture detail. Let's drop. Plummet that. Uh, I don't even think this monitor supports 320 by 240. That might be actually problematic. Screen size, I guess I could turn that down a little bit. Make it run a little bit faster, maybe? No. It still runs like shit. That's it. Now I can't. Oh my god, where's the chicken? I don't know. Oh god, he's got it. Wish I could see him. I no telling where he's gone at this point. Playing mostly from memory. I got the rocket launcher. His days are numbered. Okay, I can actually see things from here. Or not. There he is. Pick him up. Lead the target. I can't tell if I'm hitting him. I don't even know where he is. This is pretty bad. He's gonna win. You can't let him win. God damn it. Got an idea. Let's see if I can come back here if the skyboxes go away. There he is. Fucker, fucker, fucker. Dude, he's had so much chicken time. It's not even funny. I'm running out of ammo trying to kick his ass. Now I gotta go down a melee? Dude, I can't keep up with that. He won! I... Well, I... It's unplayable. <laughs> it's just... It's unplayable like this. 
even in chicken mode. Especially in chicken mode. Actually, it it's, kind of depends, because if you can get the chicken, you can just run away. You don't have to aim, you can just sort of like, uh, sort of like, it's a very similar game type to, what the fuck was it? Like, hold on to the ball type games. Okay, so since that was working and it didn't work before, at least I don't remember it working before. Probably because I fucked it up and now I actually know what I'm doing. So one more thing we got to try, and that is... Z-Doom. Remember this not working before? Yeah. Oh my god, it works! So there has been an improvement somewhere, because now Z-Doom works. Same files as last time. It just works this time. Now, I have to change all my settings. So, save for the weird colors, and inability to turn further than a little bit over to the side. Seriously? What? Okay, uh... I don't know why I can't turn more than a certain degree angle. That's all I can turn. Maybe it's... oh, I know, because it's... Pre-scale mouse movement allows for a wider turning radius. Turn up the sensitivity, but you can only you can only turn to there. I mean, I can technically play like this. But it's annoying. You can't turn further than this before having to turn all the way around again. Does it meet back at the same spot? Almost. Can't actually shoot at that light. Oh my god, just try playing like this. Some directions you just won't be able to go because you can't turn that far. But it's actually, you can play it now, which is nice. Play that Doom. Can't aim at him now. Now I can. Okay, now let's go over here, kill that guy. Keeping it real. Okay. This area is going to be okay because I'm in an area where I'm pointing. Where it's not restricted. Got the auto aim turned off. So that's good. And everything looks pretty crappy, but. Well, what are you going to do, right? Now, as you can see, the taskbar at the bottom here is kind of in the way. All right. So now, let's see if John Romero's latest level is playable in our game. It's like an I want to use. Okay. Yep, this is John Romero's new level. I think he came out with this year? I don't remember. It's really interesting. I don't even think I beat it yet. I played a little bit, but it's, it definitely is challenging in the Romero style. There's these like numbers on the ground that you have to start with. Go to one, go to two, go to three, so on and so forth. Oh, shit. So yeah, you, you can load up wads by clicking and dragging the wad file onto ZDoom and it loads it up. You just have to lo load E1M4, that's all. So one goes to one here, so... Yeah, so Doom's working. Never played Doom quite like this before, we got some ReactOS Doom going on. I will say, the, the 043 update has improved things, most certainly. Uh, has it made anything worse? Not that I can tell. There's only been improvement, slight improvement. Some things are still kind of broken, but, you know, what can you really do from alpha development? 
So yeah, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I, I did want to sort of clear React OS's name a bit. They've been putting a lot of good effort into uh, development of their operating system, and I wish them the best of luck on that. Um, because, uh, you know, it's, it's working better and better every time I try it, technically, now. So that's a good thing. And before you know it, it's going to be fully functional, and hopefully by that time, um, the Windows platform isn't totally irrelevant, but what may end up happening is for older games like this and other games I've been trying to play today that might not work on the later versions of Windows is it constantly and constantly updates and more and more games become incompatible. This one's going to be just a solid old version of Windows NT that will just play what you need it to play and it'll have all the driver support and everything will just be hunky-dory. Again, thanks everybody for watching, uh, have some good smokes, and I'll see you next time.